Let's find the treasure. Wow, check this out. Maybe this is the abandoned building they were talking about. You see anything? I see the fairy oh. Look for any other kind of clues that you can think of. A wall! Whoa! Let's get out. I can do it. Yes! Secret Beach, right here. There we are on the blue dot. The trail leads to right there, and the Island Raiders map says to stash the stolen items in the Secret Beach. What is up, Adventure Agents? Agent Tex here. And Agent Trinity here too. Agent and Ninja, and Agent Axe. And we are here at the Secret Beach. We found something here. We think that piece of paper was a recruitment letter that the people who stole your item dropped. And it looks like it's oh. a recruitment letter for them to steal some items to prove their worth to a gang called the Island Raiders. It says to stash the three items that they steal in the abandoned buildings by Secret <coughs> Beach. Do you know anything around here that's called a secret it's a secret beach. beach? Secret Beach, the only thing I could imagine is I've heard of a secret beach that's down on the North Shore down here somewhere. That's the only secret beach okay. I can think of. Some of you may remember on our last episode, we found this note that a clumsy thief left that had stolen a dagger from someone we know named Daniel Sullivan. They left this clue here, and apparently they were being recruited to be a part of a gang of thieves called the Island Raiders. And there was this note, and the note says, to become an Island Raider, you must prove you have what it takes, steal three items in broad daylight from three different shops in Paia, it's a little town here, without getting caught. Stash them in the abandoned buildings by Secret Beach, beneath the fear and hate. Secret Beach, we think, is just down this trail right here. We found a place called Secret Beach that was nearby. Daniel told us about it. And so we're gonna go check out Secret Beach. And we're gonna look for some abandoned buildings, and then we're gonna look for fear and hate, whatever that doesn't is. Doesn't sound too good. It doesn't sound too good at all. Mm -mm. No. Are you ready, Agent and Ninja? Yeah. Are you ready, Agent X? Mm -hmm. Let's head to the Secret Beach and see what we can find. And then after that, let's find the treasure. Maybe there is some treasure, I don't know. We do know that there is a dagger that is missing, and that That's is treasure, treasure right there. So let's go check it out, come on, let's go. Okay, so there is a beach right here, but the beach is called Secret Beach is down this path over here. Let's go, Adventure Agent. Check this out, there's the ocean. I think we're here on the Secret Beach. Whoa. Oh, Come look. Over here. Look at that. Do you see this? Yeah. Look at all the colorful. That. Yeah, there's some kind of a, uh, 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 maybe this is the abandoned building they were talking about. Oh, this is so I cool, remember? Agents. The, um, uh, false game master thing. Oh yeah, the pillbox, well, that was in a different area. Come on, let's head down here and check it out, Agents. River and I are about to go down and check it out too. Look at Agent Tex and Agent X over here. Your hat. It's really windy out here, agents. The water's coming in right there. Look, it's a seahorse. Axel, look at this. What could that I was mean? I think he was gonna say the fear and hate somewhere. So, did you see anything about fear and hate? No. I don't know if this is the building. Maybe we should look up on top of it. Maybe we should get up on top of it. What do you think? Human tower crane. Human tower? Okay. Agent Trinity is filming now. We're gonna try to lift Agent Axe up here. You ready, Agent Axe? Here we go. Oh. Okay, uh, got it? You see anything? Is there anything up there? Here, Axel. I see the fear and hate. Take the camera, take the camera. Here you go, Agent Axe, take the other agents. I'm gonna hand you up to Agent Axe. See if you can show them anything up there. There is apparently nothing up here. Nothing up here, here. All right, come on down. It's so windy. Agent Axe is gonna try to get down. Yeah. You got it? I'm gonna have to do it on your shoulder. All right, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I got him. Oh. I can drop. All right, there you go. Nice oh. work. Nice, Agent Great Axe. work, Agent Axe, give me five. Nothing up there but a lot. All right, All right let's go look over here. It's too windy. Okay, Agent Trinity, so we're looking for abandoned buildings, okay? Okay. And that was the only structure that we saw so far. We're nearing the end of the beach. That's the end of the yeah. beach right there. I don't see any more abandoned building structures. Agent X, have you seen any more abandoned building structures? No. No? Okay. 
It's so windy out here, agents. Uh, but there's some trees over here. Let's go over to the cover of those trees and get out of the wind and see what we can figure out, okay? Right. I'm racing Agent Axe. It's an agent race. Okay, be careful. These rocks are really slippery. Come on, Agent and Ninja. We need to catch up with the other agents. We gotta get up these rocks. Do you want me to hold my hat now so that you can grip your... No, no, I can hold it. Okay. We're a long way up here, but I know we can do it. Be very careful. There's a trail that leads along here, but hold on. Let's wait for uh, Agent Trinity and Agent and Ninja. So are you going to go exploring, see what you find? Yeah. Okay, I'll catch up with you in just a second, okay? I'm going to go back and get Agent and Ninja and Agent Trinity. Agent Axe is going solo right now, and I've got to go find Agent and Ninja and Agent Trinity. See what they're up to. Agent and Ninja, Agent Trinity! <gasps> what? You guys go exploring, see what you can find, okay? Okay, perfect! Alright, we'll split up. I'll go with Agent Axe. Alright, we're going to split up. We're going to split up. Did you hear that, Agent and Ninja? We're splitting up so that we can cover twice as much ground in the same amount of time. I'm going to go check out and see what Agent Axe has found so far. Let's see, where'd he go? Agent Axe! See what I found. Oh, okay, there you are. Do you want to see what I found? Look, you find? that, that. What is, oh, dude, this is interesting. There's some kind of a abandoned building structure right here. Wow, check this out. There was definitely some kind of building here. Look at all those things. Oh yeah, there's another one over here. Agents, there's another one over here. So the note here that we have, it says, stash them in the abandoned buildings by secret beach near the fear and hate. Oh, beneath the fear and hate. What's fear and hate? I mean, fear, it's like you're afraid and hate is like hatred. And those two things are linked together, but are we looking for what represents fear and hate? Maybe just a word? That's the opposite yeah. thing of fear and hate. We are untied. Be kind. Ah, we are united. Be kind. Well, that's not fear or hate. L-O-V-E. Love. Love everyone around you, like we always say. No fear and hate here. Last step. Made it. Yes! We have to look for another structure, another building and look for any other kind of clues that you can think of. A wall! A wall? Where? Oh, look at this! Check it out! Whoa! Um, maybe it's like a something that you can play in. Whoa! It looks like the, the start of a structure, right? Does this count? Does this count as something that could be a clue? Yeah. We have to tell Daddy about this. Let's keep looking, okay? It and look has, all around the edges. Come on, it has tape in the middle. Really? No, Where? Look. Let's go around the look. edge. No, look. Come on, over here. Where? Where? Look at that! Black! Look! Look! Hey! Right there! Look! Where? Where? Look! Look! You see it? Right there! Oh! On the wall? <gasps> Whoa! Check this out! Man! There are so many beautiful drawings. This must have been some kind of building. Look! There, there must have been beams across here. Some kind of platform. This is definitely an abandoned building site. Um, look what I found. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Wow. Check this out. Look at these faces over here. Check this out. Look at that. You see that? I don't know. It looks like some kind of elven human person. Look at these. These look like some sort of tribal mask. That is really neat, agents. Man, you find the coolest things around here. <gasps> look. Hate equals fear. Don't be afraid. <gasps> Hate and fear. Remember on the note. But, <gasps> but don't get caught. Not in here. <laughs> you know, I think we better tell Agent Tex Daddy and Agent Tex. Tex. Let's get out. Let's hurry. Okay, it says, but it says don't be afraid. Hate equals fear. <gasps> what is it? We, this is definitely a clue that we have to get Agent Tex and Agent Let's Axe. get out, let's Wait. get it. Okay, let's go, girl. We have to find the other agents. Agent Tex! Agent Axe! We can, let's go! Yell for them, yell for them. Agent Tex, Agent Axe, we found a clue! Oh, look at this. Look at this man coming out of this door right here. Someone was a really good graffiti artist. Hey. I think I hear something. Agents! Agents! 
Is that Agent a Ninja? Agent a Ninja! Agent Trinity! Agent Tex, where are you? X! Agent X! Oh, I see them right over there. They're right over there. Agent Ninja! Agent Trinity! Come over here! <gasps> I hear them! Come on! No, it's over here! We're coming! Yeah, we found something! We found a clue! Another Okay, so we found Agent Ninja and Agent Trinity. Come on! We found a building site over here! They found something too! <gasps> we both found something! We found something too! Yes, we found something too! Oh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Is it right? Oh, I see, I see. Agent X, we found, we found something. Agent X, what is your Look, the writing on the wall. Look where? at the writing on the wall. <laughs> Hate equals fear. Don't be afraid. Yes. Yes. They see it. Oh, high five, girl. We found the clue! This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Beneath awesome. hate and fear. Beneath hate and fear. That's what it says. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, let's let's read it real quick. Okay, agent. So this is the Island Raiders note right here. We found hate equals fear. Getting caught. Stashed in the abandoned buildings by secret beach beneath fear and hate. Hate and fear. Fear and hate. Okay, beneath. What does that mean? Dig? That's the only thing it could mean. Unless it's in the wall. Digging. I don't know if we could get in the wall there. This all happened very recently. He was robbed recently. How can you we dig. dig? You dig, peasant. I am not a peasant. <laughs> Here, let's get something to dig with. Dig with this. Dig, dig. peasant. You dig, peasant. <laughs> I'm no peasant. You dig. I'm the boss of the world. He thinks he's the boss of the world. Hey, Agent and Ninja. We need someone. I think I see something. I see something green. Oh. Yeah, there, there's some really cool stuff up there. You have green, to go check green, this out. Green. But look, but Agent and Ninja. We have to dig. Can you help us dig? Okay. All right. Yeah. Agent Axe is digging. It said beneath fear and hate. The only other, it's either in the concrete wall or digging. I'd rather do it on the concrete. I can't get in there. All right, Agent and Ninja, come on over here and help Agent us dig. Agent Ninja, dig. Get your digging stick. Oh. Dig. Dig a little bit more. Yes. <gasps> yes. What? Yes. Is it we found something. Oh, there might be something dead okay, in yeah, yeah, yeah. there. That, you that, open it. Know, that might be something dead. Everyone get back. It could be like some kind of dead animal. Sometimes people bury dead animals in trash bags. Okay. All right. Hopefully it's not, right? It doesn't seem like it's alive. Open it! It does feel like it could be an animal. Ew. Oh. I don't know, Agent. Open I don't know. It. It's not moving. It doesn't have claws. Nope. Just open it. Yeah, it's not an animal. Okay. All right. I'm going to open it up. Should we go somewhere else? I think we should take this somewhere else. Look, there's a spot in the woods over there. Let's try to go over there. Come on, we're gonna take this oh, to a spot in the woods. This is really open. What did you find? Okay, bring that wow. with us. That might be a clue. Come on, let's go. There's a spot right over here behind this big tree. Come on, Agent and Ninja, over here. Who wants to okay. dig? Okay, Agent. Oh, so, moment of truth. Of let's open it up. Yeah. Oh, there's a hole. Okay, read this. <gasps> oh, a purse? Wow. Oh, yep, that's the purse. Remember the guy? That, oh, yes. <gasps> You're right. From the, the video. The, from the footage. Okay, here we go. All scratchy. Hmm. Can't hardly see. Car oh, oh, there's somebody. That's it. That's the thief. Look, they're reaching in there. Okay, so. The purse? Oh, whoa, whoa, careful, careful. Oh, the dagger! Put it in! Yes! No, but. We the found dagger. it! <laughs> and then they stole We this. solved the mystery! And then they stole Are, are you okay? I just want to go so I'm scared. You're a little bit scared. Okay. Yeah. Asian and Ninja is a little bit freaked out and right understandably. Wait, it's there's it's more in there? <gasps> what is it? Yeah, remember the other two things what they stole. This? The other two things oh, they stole. Oh, the note. They had to steal three items. They succeeded in their mission. Check this out. This looks like oh, some kind of silver. How sharp is it? And these are pearls right here. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of pearls. This must be worth a lot of money. And look at this. This is the dagger. Ah. Uh, Three hundred and twenty dollars. Wait, that is a lot it? of money. Okay, agent. So we had to switch cameras because our battery was dying. But check this out. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that beautiful, Agent that and Ninja? It's a heart. That's so incredible. You want to hold it? Look at that. It's a wow, heart. Is that a rock? 
That's so beautiful. That wow. I need to chop some stuff. Chop, chop, chop. That Jeez. is an awesome knife, but let's be careful with it, okay? This doesn't belong to us, right? It belongs to Daniel. We need to return it to him. But hey, I wonder who this other stuff belongs to. If they stole it, it belongs to somebody. What do you think? Should we return it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should. You know, that's always the right thing to do. Agents, when something belongs to someone else and it's stolen, even if you're not the one who stole it, you should return it. But how are we going to figure out who to return these items to? Ask Daniel. Maybe Daniel will know. I think we need to go back and ask Daniel where Well, we should go quick because I might be on their way right now. That's true. That's true. Hey, I might but, have to but, bring Agent and Ninja but, home. This sounds really dangerous. It does sound a little bit. But, you know, the danger part is done. Once we get out of here, yeah. It's done because we found the items. But we do need to get out of here because, oh, they did say that they would come back to get them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and that's the real raiders would come to get them. Come on, let's go. All right, Agent, let's go. Agent and Ninja, don't you worry. If anyone comes, <laughs> Agent Tex, <laughs> I'll get them. I'll get them good, huh? <laughs> you don't have to worry. I'll protect you. Okay? I got my, I got my feet. Oh, my leg. I broke it. Ow. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Okay, agents. So, I just sent Daniel Sullivan with Indigo Paia a text message letting him know that we found his dagger. I asked him when we should return it to him. We'll see what he says. So, I was calling this thief a clumsy thief, but... Agent uh, Axe here just made a good observation. What is that? They're not really a clumsy thief because they managed to steal all of the items. That is true. They did manage to steal these items. They accomplished their mission, and if we hadn't taken this, the island raiders probably would have gone and gotten it like they said they would have, and they would have made it into their thief gang and now they won't it's almost a little bit sad that that person because if you think of just wanted to have some friends maybe yeah maybe they just they wanted, wanted some friends the Raiders because they didn't have a family or something. yeah and we, you know how we were talking about motive for stealing you have to have a motive to do things a lot of the time what was their motive did they really need the money or maybe they just wanted to feel like they were a part of something maybe like a, a a gang of thieves that actually sounds kind of cool. Kind of like a gang of pirates. If I didn't know any better, I might want to be a part of that too. So it's, it is a little bit sad knowing that people steal sometimes just to be a part of something that's bigger than them. Kind of sad. All right, agents, let's try to go return this dagger. Okay, agents, so Daniel Sullivan just texted us back and he won't be back in his shop until uh, another few days. So we're gonna have to find a safe place to stash this purse. Agent Axe, what do you think? Where should we stash it? Mm. We need to find a really safe place. We don't have a safe though. We need to get a safe to put stuff like this in. Okay, follow you. Agent Axe, here. Messy bedroom. We are still unpacking from a conference we went to. In the closet? Yep. If you were a thief, would you try to steal kids' boots? No? No, my boots are in there though. I know, but it'll still fit. If you were a thief, you probably wouldn't steal kids' boots, right? So no, but a thief would look everywhere. It would, but they'd be less likely looking here. If they saw the purse hanging from there, they'd definitely steal it immediately. All right, there we go. Okay, hopefully that'll stay safe, agents. Oh yeah, looking good. We're waiting for these Orbeez in this pool to get really big for a different video we're making. What? You ready to return that dagger? Duh. Daniel's there. Okay, it has been two days. Oh, so we gotta go check and make sure that the dagger's still there. Hopefully nobody stole it. Hmm, somebody could have broken into our house and taken it. Hopefully not, I don't think so. Let's check anyways. Let's see, ah, purse is still here. And the dagger should be here because who would take the dagger out of the purse and not uh, take the purse? Ah, oh no, the zipper broke. Uh-oh, that's tough, come on. Open, open, is the dagger in here? Is it in here? It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Just kidding, just kidding, sorry. <laughs> it's right here, yep, the dagger is here. Okay, agents, let's take this back to Daniel and see what he says. What do you think he's gonna say? I think he's gonna be pretty excited. Let's see the look on his face, right? Come on, let's go. Okay, so we're back here at Indigo Paia. You think Daniel's gonna be excited that we found his dagger? Hey, Daniel. No way. You guys found it? That's amazing. Is this the dagger? This is, is the, the right dagger. One? Yeah, so yeah. we were wondering, we have these other items Ooh. in here. It looks like a pearl necklace. Wow. And then there's this heart. Here. I know where that came from. Oh, My really friend do. has a shop across the street. No way. And he collects 
stones awesome. like that. I would bet okay. that's his stone. Maybe, maybe we found the other owner. The note did say that the culprit had to find three different items from three different shops. I can't believe you guys found so, this. This is amazing. We are like so I did not think you guys could find this. Okay, the only so, place I could think that this would be from, it looks a little bit like the mermaid shop to oh, the me. mermaid shop, okay. So, okay, there's a shop around here that's the mermaid shop. I, I told you guys, like, I couldn't afford to pay you for finding this, but I'm so grateful that I want to give you guys something for finding it. Is that okay? What? Yeah. My son Tristan, he melts down metal and he makes jewelry, right? This is brass that he melted down and he made a snake ring. So that's for you. Oh, you kidding? Okay. Wow. So he it's makes all snake. these. He's 14 and he makes all these. So he really made this. Like yeah, he, melted he it made down, it like all by hand. Backyard scientist. And Just like down. backyard scientist. That is awesome. And then this one is very special. Oh my goodness, And River. this is for you, River. Oh I put the goodness. ring on a necklace. On. So this is a ring that he, Tristan made So too? when you're bigger, you can wear it, but until then, you can so wear it as a necklace. Wow. So is he Girl. that one right Are really you excited? So you go that is and so right here. And His walk, son walk made down. this, River. Isn't that neat? Ball, Isn't that ball, neat? Ball. Cross the street here, okay. and you walk a block up, and look for the big crystals. You guys are my heroes, you know that? Thank You're my you. heroes. Look, I can't believe you found this. We are so happy to thought. have found it. This knife, you wanna hear the story of this knife real quick? Yes. Yeah. We're gonna hear the story about the dagger, okay? This Been is in India for over 150 years, okay? Wow. So, so this was when, the story of this knife was when the British were in India and they had their soldiers there. And this knife would have been used on the front of a gun. It's a bayonet. So they would fit the front of the gun on this and then they could use it to charge with. It kind of like a spear. Almost. It's like a spear. It turns your gun into a spear. I got this from my friend's father when I was in Delhi. And um, it's been is with Delhi me ever in since. India? Delhi is the, yeah, in the capital of India. The capital of India, that's cool. So this wow. knife has been with me ever since. So when it was stolen, I was really sad. So it was an amazing thing that you guys found it. Well, so. It makes us so happy that we can make you happy. And we were wondering if in return for us finding it, you could give a good word to anyone who maybe has a uh, something else stolen. Oh yeah, uh, like like a reference maybe. Oh, like definitely. like if I'll somebody wants us to, hi to hire us and they're like, hey, but you guys don't have any references. What mysteries have you solved? Maybe we could say, hey, Daniel, uh, we solved the mystery for him. Could you could you tell him we did a good job? Oh, I'll let all the other shops in Paia know. Thank you yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, totally. We're getting the good word out there that we're mystery solvers, dude. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity, Daniel. We really appreciate it. And if anyone's interested. Yeah. Any of Daniel's amazing artwork that he, the pictures he's taken, he prints them out. And if you are interested in this and you're here in the town of Paia or if you're on the island of Maui, definitely come check this shop out. It is amazing. And don't you do tours? I do. You I take take people how to take good pictures. I That's take people out on tours. Of, that is so in awesome. Your book of That's in my book. That's yeah. exactly. Oh, we should go visit that church sometime. That's here on Maui, right? Yeah, that's on the back side of Maui. So okay. past Hana, and that's the old Hawaiian church out in Kaupo. It's a beautiful church. And Daniel also shares a lot of awesome pictures on Instagram. I'll put links to his uh, social posts down in the description below. All right, well, thank you so much for the rings, Daniel, and thank you so much for giving Thanks us this opportunity. Thanks, you guys. So and it's called the Mermaid Store? I the, the so the first one is the stones where he has crystals. We'll so that's the, the first store. First. The second one I think is called the mermaid. Mermaid something. It's okay. mermaid something. We'll go yeah. check both of them out. Thank you so much. Okay, agents, let's go see if we can Good return work, the rest of these Thank things. You. Bye, Daniel. Thank Bye, you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Okay, so it's across the street. Oh, there's not. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Thank you. All right, we got to cross the street, but we had to wait for the cars. Okay. All right, we're across. So look for a crystal shop, okay? Love treasures. Earth love treasures? Uh huh. What's that thing? Yeah. Oh, look, look, crystals. Ah, right here. See? There's a big crystal right there. Oh. Maybe this is it. Oh, there are a lot of crystals here. Wow. Look for Minecraft Lapis Lazzi. Remember? Oh, neat. Do you remember those? Yes, that is so neat. They have so many amazing, beautiful crystals here. But is this the same place? Axel. Oh, that's Let me see. it. They look the same. Let's go give it to him, Daddy. Let's go. 
All right, agents, I think this is a clue. Hi, how Hello, are you? I'm great. Do you, do you mind us filming? No, not at all. I am Agent Tex, and we are adventure agents. We all are right. detectives. We might have something that belongs to you. We were sent over here by Daniel Sullivan from uh, Indigo. He told us that you might be missing something. Like that, that. you think someone may have stolen from you. Oh, Does that look familiar? I believe so. Do you think it came out of this basket? Just to explain a little bit, we are on the case where someone stole a dagger, an old dagger that Daniel Sullivan had across there. When we found the dagger, we found it in this bag here. Inside of that bag, we also found two items. This right here, this heart, and then this right here. Do you think that this might belong to you? Because the thief, they're trying to get in with, a, it looks like a gang of thieves that were called the Island Raiders. And in order to get in with the gang, they had to steal three items from three different shops here in Paia. Um, were you missing one of these? We were actually. I that is so crazy. <laughs> Axel, you want to give it back to her? Yeah. All right. Well, we are so, so awesome. happy that we could find the home to return that. And we were wondering if you might know uh, of a shop that might carry this. I've actually seen that next door. Oh, really? Yeah, the shop next door. Okay. Do you think it came from there? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Wait, right. but Daddy, uh -huh. before we go with my money, can I get a weapon? Oh, do you want to buy one of these rocks? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, sure. Daddy, Thank you so much for bringing this back to us. For your honesty, I'd love to give it to you. Would you like to have this one? What? <laughs> really? Yes. You no did the right way. thing. Would you like it? Yeah. Can I get one too? You know what? No way. Agent and Ninja, she's actually the one that found the fear and hate sign where the thing was buried beneath. She found that Bill River. This is as much yours as it is Axel, so you guys can share the heart, okay? <laughs> what do you say to her? <laughs> Thanks. You're very welcome. Wow, that is it. so awesome. We get this heart. Now, what is this made of? Brazilian clear quartz. Brazilian quartz. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. It's found in Brazil. Wow. Look at those. Wow, agents. This is pure oh, crystal. That is so neat. Look at it. It's got this one little crystal jutting up out of the middle. It's this so must be old. The ink is gone. See, Daddy? Well, you know what? All of these rocks, they're really old. Rocks are old. Like, old, old. Like, rocks were here before anything else was here on this earth. Except they are water. very, very Except old. Millions, billions of years old. Okay. Earth love treasures. This place is amazing. If you're ever in Paia, in Maui, Hawaii, definitely go check them out. They are the only store in this whole island, I think, that has this many crystals okay, on it. It's amazing. Okay, <coughs> this thing is so heavy. This right here, this is lapis lazuli. It's one of the most sought after stones. This is worth $2,500. That's a lot. Man, somebody could just walk in right there, snatch that and put it in the bag. Ooh, man. Yep, and that's not good. Nope, stealing is not good because this business, they need to make money to survive and they provide a great service by selling stones to people. And if somebody just came in and stole it all, they wouldn't be able to provide that service. All right, let's put this back. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh my goodness. All right. Thank you. Bye. Ow. Agents, I got hurt really bad. And so we had to take a little pit stop to dress my wounds. What is it? There's something on my face. Oh my gosh, there's something crawling. It's a roach, Axel. A roach? There's a roach in Oh no, it's a cricket. It's a cricket. It's a cricket. Are you going to eat it? Where is it? I don't know. It's gone. I think it jumped. <laughs> you got it? Ah! Oh, there it is. <laughs> This has turned into catch the cricket mission. <laughs> you got it? Oh my goodness. Got it. Okay, so, so I got it. I got now we gotta find the place that's next door. Whoa, to Earth Treasures. To see if they are missing this item. Okay, so there's Earth Love Treasures. And this place is right next door, but they're closed. They're closed. They're closed. Oh, they're, they're closed. closed too. Oh, Earth Love Treasures closed while I was dressing my wound. Ah, but here's another place right over here. Okay, agents. So we found the store that had the missing necklace, and they were missing it. Unfortunately, they wouldn't let us record inside of the store. They wouldn't allow Did video you filming see in there. That? Oh, Amethyst. Whoa, that is so cool. So, Axel, yeah. how do you feel now that we solved the case? 
awesome. Pretty good. Dude. Wait, Daddy. I feel fantastic. It's such a good feeling to help people, right? Even that if you don't get paid anything at all, it just that. feels so great we to help people. We should get that, Daddy. Something. You see that with the blue light right yeah, there? Yeah, we should get that. Probably costs like a couple thousand dollars. Agent and Ninja, mm -hmm. give me five, girl. Give me and five. Any little cool way for when I'm sleeping by myself. Yeah. So I can oh. see oh, more. A night light. That would be a pretty cool night yeah, light. Sure. What do you think? Yeah. All right, agents. Well, remember, life is an adventure, and love is a key, and helping other people. Even if you don't get paid, well, that can be a way that you love them. And so we just showed Daniel and the people here in these shops that we love them by returning the items that were stolen from them. That's a way that you can love people if you find stolen items and you can try to find the owner. All right, well, Agent Tech's out. Remember, if you want to get your custom agent badge here with your agent name on you pick, that you make up, any agent name you want, Check the link in the description down below to our website and see how you can get that stuff. And we have shirts coming soon. We have a really awesome DB Cooper shirt coming soon. Agent Axe out? Yeah. Axe, you, you got some there today. <laughs> Agent, yeah. Agent Axe, Agent Ninja out. Agent Ninja out. Agent Tech's out.